Okay, so good to have you guys in today's video. We're going to talk about variable names. So how do you name your variables in Python? Uh, this can be tricky to those who are beginning programming. However, there are certain rules that you have to follow when you're naming your variables. Okay, so uh, naming your variables in Python is, is quite flexible. Um, let me show you what I mean when I say it's flexible. Uh, you can name your variable just as short as using one letter. So like I could say x is equals to 20. This is pretty okay. This is fine. If I run my code right now, nothing is wrong with this one. And I can actually print this x uh, and you will see a 20 down here. Okay. So this is legal, right? This is legal. It's allowed. However, uh, you can also name your variables in a more descriptive way. For instance, if I have, uh, I'm, I'm keeping days of the week, so I can use days of the week like this. Okay, this is also another way of naming variables. It's, it's pretty much okay. So if I run this, you see nothing is wrong. Everything is okay. All right, so let's jump into the rules and see how we should name our variables. The first thing you want to keep in mind is a variable name can only start with a letter or an underscore, those two. So letters A to Z can be upper or lower, or then an underscore, you can use that. For instance, I can say underscore X. This is pretty pretty okay. Uh, it's 10. Uh, this is okay. I can name a variable like this. Uh, or I can use a letter, a, you know, uh, or I can say school, all these are, you know, beginning with a letter. So this is pretty okay. All right, and then this brings us to rule number two. Rule number two is you're not allowed to use a number to begin with a number when you're naming a variable. For instance, I cannot say two score like this. This is, this is totally unacceptable. It's not allowed. If I try and run this, you have issues. It says invalid syntax. So this is not allowed in Python. So once you remove the two, you can see uh, it's, 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 it's fine now. Okay. But you can include a, a, a number in your variable. So I could say score two, this is totally fine. Uh, as long as I do not start with a, with a number here. Okay, but I can use a number in, in that variable. All right, uh, that's number two. Rule number three is you can use the following. Okay, you can, you, you, can, you can use A to Z when you're naming your variable. So A to Z, uppercase, you can also use lowercase A to Z. It's, it's totally fine. You can also use zero to nine, the numbers, and you can also use underscores. Okay, that's all you can use when you're naming your variable. These are the only allowed characters that you can use. A to Z, so this is alphanumeric and then underscores. This is what you're allowed to use. You are not allowed to use special characters. For instance, the uh, the, the pound sign, uh, the percent sign, you're not allowed. All these, you're not allowed. The star, whatever, uh, you're not allowed to use those because they have their own purposes in Python. So they are not allowed to be you know, part of the variable name. All right, and then last but not least, uh, variable names are case sensitive. For instance, um, score and or uppercase score is totally different. These are two different variables. And then another, uh, another one capitalized, this one is also different. So all these three are, to are totally different variables. So you need to be sure when you're naming your variables, uh, you need to remember the, uh, the case that you used was it an all uppercase or all lowercase or you capitalized it? Uh, that's how you do it. All right, and then I want to talk about handling, um, you know, uh, when you have a descriptive one, when you have a descriptive uh, variable name, for instance, days of the week, days of, uh, days of the week. You're not allowed to use spaces. Space, space uh, is a special character, so you're not allowed to use. So let's say I have days of the week. Uh, this might be confusing to others, you know, especially if you give it to somebody else. They might say, oh, what, what kind of a name is this? So, you know, to best deal with this name, you can either use what we call snake case. Snake case is when you use uh, underscores on each and every word, after each and every word like this, because you're not allowed to use spaces. So you have to use it like this, or you can use what we call 
Pascal casing. Uh, Pascal casing is whereby you uh, capitalize each and every word from the beginning word, okay? So days of is going to be uppercase and then the is going to be capitalized and then week is going to be capitalized like this. So now this makes sense, days of the week. This is what we call Pascal casing. And then last but not least, we are going to talk about what we call uh, common casing. Common casing now, uh, it doesn't begin the first one with an uppercase, okay? So it doesn't capitalize the first word. That's the difference between Pascal casing and common casing, okay? So they're almost the same thing. So uh, we can say seven here, this is totally fine. Run this and then that's uh, totally fine. Right, so I wanna you know, give you examples of illegal names. For instance, two, uh, two score. This is not allowed, this begins with, uh, with a number, it's not allowed. Uh, let's say dollar score. This is not allowed because I have included uh, a special character um, which is not allowed uh, or you can have something like days of the week this is also not allowed you put in spaces it's a special character it's not allowed uh, you can say score minus two uh, this dash is is actually used as a, as a minus sign so it's not allowed when you're naming your variables so this is illegal, okay? So there are, you know, quite, you know, illegal instances that you can run into. And then another thing is uh, you, you must avoid using, you know, reserved keywords in Python. For instance, print. Print, we know if this is a function that we use in Python when we want to print out something. So I should try not to use this as a variable name, okay? I should try by all means to not to use print as a variable name. Right, so uh, I hope this is clear. Uh, we can go back and try and answer the question. Okay, so which of these is a valid variable name in Python? So as we say, uh, numbers only, no, we're not allowed to begin with a number. Uh, this one has got special characters, so it's, it's a non-starter. The only valid uh, variable name is this one, a variable name. Okay, so we can check it out. This is the correct answer. The ne in our next video, we're going to look at working with variables. Right, so I want to thank you for your time. I'll see you in our next video. For now, bye-bye.